We gotta start like so. Uh, go, going over uh, this problem, we were just talking about mean, median, and mode, different measures of central tendency. And if I want to find uh, the mean in a frequency distribution, the issue we had was that I don't know these actual data values. I just know that there's 11 within this class, right? I know that there's 24 within this class. So um, in order to do that, we're going to have to make some assumptions. And the assumption we end up making is that uh, we'll assume that everyone earns $135 from those 11 people, right? Or we're kind of assuming that on average they're probably all making about $135, all right? So, um, so let's uh, look at this. So it says find the sum of the wages in each class. Let me actually see if I can be clever. And snapshot of a snapshot. That's really like, what? Can you believe it? Mind blown right there. Snapshot of a snapshot. So, um, so what I would do here to calculate that is uh, how much did we end up paying these people? Well, uh, I would do 11 times 135, right? And what's that, 1485? So I guess this, is, uh, this column is going to be the frequency uh, times the xi, the class mark, right, is what I'm calculating here. And then 24 times uh, 145 would be 3480, I believe. And then we got 4650 and 1650. And 22.75, and then 14.80. Hmm, interesting, interesting. And 7.80. All right, so that's the amount that we paid for each group of people. All right, for this uh, store manager. Then the next question is, uh, let's scroll up here. It says, what is the sum of all the wages in the frequency distribution? Um, so that would be adding all of these up, and apparently that's 15,800, all right, where I just add those all up. So if I wanted to represent this with some sort of sigma notation, this would have been the sum of i equals 1 to n of fi times xi. All right, that's what this number represents. Sigma means I'm adding up kind of one of my lists. All right, that's what I'm doing. All right, so if that's what I wanted to calculate, that's what I would. Uh, let's see, the next question we had, um, find the number of employees in the frequency distribution. So that would be the sum of this column. Looks like I was yellow here, uh, which is apparently 100. All right. Could you represent that with a uh, sigma notation? What would that look like? That would be sigma of what? From what to what? I equals 1 to n. Yeah, that little fi guys, right? So the sum of all the frequencies is going to give me how many people are in the group. Okay, now they ask, uh, let's see, what is the mean weekly wage in the frequency distribution? So this is kind of the concept of we're finding the mean in a frequency distribution. The way we do that is figure out how much we paid total, right? Divide by how many there are, right? So that's why I would end up with, uh, so my X bar, I guess I could call it, would be the 15,800 divided by the 100, and I get $158 is the average weekly wage for all of these people, okay? And technically, I should say about, and the reason they say about is because we don't know for sure what these people make. We just know what range of money they make. Um, so I made some assumptions there. So I, I'm not certain of that 158. It's an assumption. All right. And then it says, uh, find the median class of the frequency distribution. 
Now, how do you think we could find the median in this? Where would the middle number be? The middle person. Right, the middle person we'll, we'll assume is probably somewhere between, uh, would it be the... 160. Well, let's see, half of 100 is 50, right? Uh, but would it be um, between 50 and 51? Because 100 is an even number, so it would be stuck... Or would it be 49, 50, no, it would be 50, 51, right? Yeah, 50 and 51. Right, is the, the median is somewhere in there. So uh, how do I know where the median occurs? How do you know that? Or how would you figure that out? Okay, so you, you tried to figure it out this way, huh? Which, yeah, it would work. It's a little bit tricky, but, um, but yeah, we could. Uh, or we could just try to figure out how, where do we actually land on 50. So let's see, this one's 11. This one would be up to 35 if I add the 11. Then 35 plus 30 would be 60. So somewhere in this class, I had the 50 and 51st person, right? So it was somewhere in there. So that's what the median salary, weekly salary, for all we know, uh, would have been somewhere in there. All right. Uh, and let's see. And then it says, estimate the median weekly range in the frequency distribution. So I guess, yeah, that's what they end up just taking the average there. It's 155. Right. And then explain why the mean and median are good measures of central tendency in this situation. Because both values re represent central values of the data. It's kind of... It's kind of obvious. Yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, so that's the idea of a measure of central tendency is it's measuring the middle area. A single number that you could look at that gives you a middle about of your data, all right? Uh, and often we refer to these as averages. Um, and then in today's lesson, which we're going to start in a little bit, we are going to talk about measures of variability uh, and dispersed data is what we're going to consider. But we'll do that after the break. Let's see.